けて負けて負けてたまるか俺たち人間だ地球地球地球を襲う悪魔の手飛び立てたんだんだんだんだったい街に全開心は一つの団結だメカンダーワンメカンダースリーメカンダースリー Attack on the Omega Missile. It's the Omega Missile. Contact point in five seconds. What? A bad dream. Marcus? <gasps> What happened? I heard your scream and I couldn't sleep any longer. What's happening, Marcus? I'm sorry. I just had a bad dream. You're shaking, Marcus. No, no, I'm not. <sighs> What a terrible dream. I saw how m e c a n i c robot was completely destroyed by the Omega missile. <clears throat> Don't worry about it, Marcus. It was just a bad dream. That's right, Marcus. Don't be afraid of the Omega missile. We always manage to get away from it somehow. <clears throat> ah, get out of my way! Hey! Hey, Marcus, wait! Did I say anything to hurt his feelings? Take it easy. Go to sleep. <sighs> Tell you frankly, I'm afraid of that Omega missile, Professor. I can't keep calm like David and Jimmy! I'm sure they're afraid of the Omega missile like you are. But there's no need to get excited over it, Marcus. But, Professor, I've had it! What do you want me to do then? Well, there must be a way to get rid of that. that. that missile! Marcus Query posed a great deal of worry for Professor Humboldt. He himself had no qualified answer to Marcus' question. Meanwhile, the Atomic Energy Foundation is considering a strategy to neutralize the Omega missile. Several satellites have been stationed around the Earth's atmosphere as a result of the study. They have concluded that a large nuclear head would be needed to destroy it. However, the space department which was working on it was completely destroyed by the Valkyrian troopers. We only know that there are seven space satellites which can dispatch the Omega missile, but we don't know the locations. But there must be a way to destroy that missile! Yes. We can create a device which may be able to destroy it, or at least disturb the reaction of the missile to atomic energy. But it will take time. We might have to stop our operations here to concentrate on that alone. Is that so? Yes. Huh? <coughs> Professor Humboldt here. What? Okay, I'll have it checked as soon as possible. Attention, the counterfactors. Please assemble at the briefing room at 0700 hours tomorrow. Professor Humboldt, what's happening? 
I'll tell you what happened at the briefing room tomorrow morning, Marcus. Go now and have a good night's sleep, Marcus. Okay, Professor. <clears throat> According to information which we received last night, the atomic pile and its devices, which have not been used for fear of causing a reaction from the Omega missile, have been stolen. These photographs were sent to us to aid us in our investigations. That's the picture of the whole thing. All the guards were killed. What do you think, Jimmy? I'm sure it was the Volkian troopers. It couldn't have been anyone else, Professor. I think so, too. Who else could be responsible? Mm, it's them again! But what did they do that for? I can't understand their purpose. They may use it either for a study or as a weapon. Gentlemen, we must discover their purpose right away. Jimmy, check the Anderson Atomic Energy Center. Marcus and David, both of you take the Riley Atomic Institute. Yes, yes sir! sir. Open the launch pads. My hands are shaking. Marcus, what's the matter? Marcus, Marcus, can you hear me? David, go after him. Something's wrong. Right. Marcus, can you hear me? Yes, I read you. What's the matter with you? You're going in the wrong direction, Marcus. You better turn back. I'm not going with you. I'll attack the Omega missile and destroy it wherever it may take me. No, Marcus! Don't be a fool! Come back! <laughs> Get off my back! If nobody can destroy this Omega missile, I will! I will! I will! Stop, Marcus! Don't be foolish! You can't reach the space satellite with your aircraft? Never mind. I'll go up to where it'll take me. I'll attack the Omega missile even with my bare hands! Marcus! Marcus, come back! No, Marcus! If you go any higher, you might disintegrate! Disintegrate? <sighs> It's a satellite of the Omega Missile. <laughs> I'll attack it now! Sky Donkey, fire! Here's to the end of all our troubles. Now I'll destroy the Omega Missile! <laughs> Omega missile has been fired by the space satellite. Oh no, it's a reaction to the sky donkey. No! 
Marcus, it's beyond your altitude limitation. If you go higher, you'll get yourself killed. Marcus, can you read me? Turn back immediately. Understand, Jimmy? They got the intro! Go! lies Aspen City, the only remaining city on the earth. It has a population of 10 million people. It houses the headquarters of the Human Defense Force and the Mekanda robot operation. We shall eliminate it like brushing dust off our shoulders. Then our empire will have been propagated further. Now let me hear your plans. Yes tried several strategies, but they all failed miserably. For according to the data which we have gathered, our ultimate weapon is the nuclear bomb. They do not have enough resources left to protect themselves from it. <laughs> you finally decided to use your brains. <laughs> I agree with you, General Medusa. Therefore, we must now send our beast fighter, Gardelin, for our preparations at our secret advance base there. See to that immediately. What do you plan to do with the Beast Fighter Garland, General Gosnell? It's none of your business. Just do what I tell you. Now you must do everything you can do to protect the Gardelin from the Makanda robot. Do you understand me? As you wish. <laughs> In the secret advanced base of the Valkyrian troopers, the atomic pile and its devices, which were stolen from the Earth, were being assembled and installed in the Beast Fighter Gardelin. city. Attention, we can the fighters. The enemy has begun to make its move. What happened? You did not accomplish the mission that I assigned to you. We had trouble along the way. We encountered the enemy and we had to turn back, sir. We don't know the enemy's plans. The task force of the Human Defense Force is on alert for reinforcements. We read you. We're on our way now. We picked up the disturbance from the Trans Express Railroad. It's 30 miles east of the Melbourne Strait. You better check and see what the Valkyrian troopers are up to this time. Yes, sir. Let's go. Hey, guys, there's the Trans Express Railroad. Look, over there. What's that? Hey, it's the enemy robot! Okay, we better get it with our Viking missiles. Marcus, don't! What's wrong? It's quite dangerous. There are too many people around here and they might get hurt. We better wait for our chance. Jimmy, look down below! Do you see that? Do you recognize what it is? Hey, it looks like, it looks like the atomic pile. 
No wonder it's been missing. They used it as their weapon against us. So, that's why they stole the atomic pile from the Atomic Institute. They must be going nuts. Don't they realize that they will surely be attacked by their own Omega missile? Huh, but the atomic pile isn't turned on yet. So what's their purpose? I don't know. That railway leads straight to Aspen. Oh no. They're going to operate the atomic pile in Aspen and then dispatch the Omega missile. Oh no. If they really do that, Aspen will be ruined. David, request the dispatch of Mikanda robot right away. We'll wait for them over the Aspen territory and attack as soon as it appears. Huh? Here they come. I'll send them to hell. Let's attack! Fire riding missile, stage one. Stage two, stage three. Get them this time, go! Here it comes. Okay, let's interlock. Let's, let's go. go. Everything's working according to plan. Hurry, Gardelin, hurry! It's almost Aspen. Now I'll operate the atomic pile. They've operated the atomic pile. They've also dispatched the Omega Missile. Contact point in 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Jimmy, it's coming! Let's go! We'll raise atomic energy power to full. Maximum power on! Guys, we can't use our rocket gun. It must be the explosion of the atomic pile. What do we do now? We better move fast. We shall have to fight with our M dagger. Mikado dagger! point in 10 seconds. We have no more time to stop the atomic device of that robot. I've got it. I'm ready. Six seconds. Five. Four.
Jimmy, give up the robot. We're going to be killed. The Omega missile is right behind us. Marcus, power out! Hurry! Power! Out! rid of them no not yet not until we're sure of it don't relax until we've destroyed aspen do you understand look they've come back are you okay marcus i'm sorry i must have scared you that's okay david and i were also afraid of the omega missile marcus ah uh, i'd hate to admit that oh you guys. Someday we'll finally get rid of it, right? Right. Right. Marcus' fear of the Omega missile had served to strengthen their teamwork. From then on, they felt a very strong sense of unity. ボーイグンスウシレーベン星が一つ流れた宇宙の果てに僕によく似たさすらいの星が二度と二度と帰れぬ故郷の空よ<音楽> 